Everybody, just got out to the garden this afternoon I don't have a ton of time but it is sometimes so overwhelming when you're trying to prioritize what needs to get done at this time of year everywhere I look there's something that I have to do so right now um, I'm gonna open up my herb garden for these little fellas ladies and gent uh, because there is so much weed seed there's also plant seed, but a ton of weeds. Grass is growing up in there, and it really bothered me last year. So today, I'm gonna take off the chicken guard, and hopefully, I'm gonna clear, clean it out, and then I'm going to let the chickens get in there and scratch it. Oh, look at this, look at this little composter. Check this out, what a little turd. Excuse me. Thank you for your help with the compost. Yes, thank you. Um, excuse me? If she turns up a vole or a rat or something, I'm gonna scream. Toots, toots, ah, ah, out please. Out, out, come on, hop out. Hop out of there. Hop out, thank you. Okay, so see, like every moment, there could be something new that I have to do. And this right now is a priority so that the doggo doesn't dig in it. It's always something. Okay, that's step one. <sighs> I tell ya. Never a dull moment, eh, Toots? That is nice compost, though. I know you must smell good things. It is going to go maybe into the asparagus box if we ever have time to build it. Oops. <laughs> I actually came out here to weed the garden, and here I am. That's not totally secure, but it'll do for this moment. Okay, so let's let's get off this protective barrier. Brian started this morning <laughs> cleaning around the tree wells. And he does everything, like when he sticks his mind to something and he wants to get it done to completion, because he's like an 80% kind of guy, which is totally okay. Um, it took him like an hour and a half to do one tree well. And we have like 22 trees, so 
Oof. But okay, let's do this. Okay, the, so the interesting thing in this garden is that there is going to be a ton of coriander seed, dill, mostly those two things. Um, I do have some thyme in here, but everything else is just going to be, like, is not what I want. So, first I got to take out this stuff, and I'm just going to throw this stuff down in the field. That's like the catch-all for stuff I don't want to put in the compost because I don't want a hundred coriander plants. Okay, you, we get the idea. But there is like some serious grass in here. Come on in. Come on in there, girls. Girls and guy. Tulip, you're not, you, you don't have the desired effect that I'm looking for in this garden renovation over here. Come on in chickens, get going. Work your magic. Well, you can just get right in here. Like, uh, nobody's stopping you. Come on in. Like, I don't, uh, I've, I'm asking, I'm welcoming you. I'm asking for your help. Because I need, I need you to kind of work this over. Pick out, this is going to take me forever. Hey, honey, you want to come in and help? Holy, we're in trouble here. This is actually I'm not a huge fan of raised beds, but this one, I like the level. I like the height. I'm going to put the rest of that compost that's in the composter in here, actually. And you know what I that today I realized I forgot to get? I'm going to have to go to Canadian Tire and see. I forgot to get zinnias in my plant order this year. That's a tragedy that will have to be rectified. Uh, it's not worth ordering and having them mailed, I don't think, if I can get them locally. But I cannot live without some zinnias. Oh, that was a treat. Grass seed head. Ugh. But there's so many coriander seeds in here. <laughs> Cut back my time. The bed looks good. Oh. Oh, there's a fight. There, that must have been something juicy and it went in the garden. I gotta move into the garden because that's what I came out here to do. See, this is what this is what happens. I come out here to do one thing and then I do two completely different things. Can I use the can I use the uh, potato fork or are you still using it? Whew, I just got dizzy. Um so I came in this strawberry bed which at some point I am going to convert from a strawberry bed because, it's, I mean, it's nice, but it doesn't really produce a ton. And I just cut back all of the sage. So <laughs> my sage plant was huge. So I don't know if it's gonna bounce back or not, but hopefully it will. And I'm not gonna open this bed up because I've got tulips from my mom planted in here and I planted some from her out front and the, the chickens have already destroyed it, so those beds have to be protected but I am going to try and toss out some of these leaves maybe I'll do that later That's not really what I'm wanting to do right now Brian found these grubs what do you want it chuk, chuk. he's a juicy one <laughs> my plan and I don't know if I'm going to achieve this this year is to take all of these center aisles 
and lay them up into the beds and then re-wood chip because under here, let me just show you. So under here is like this, which is beautiful, almost soil. There's little bits of wood chips, but that's why we also get so many dandelions because they can grow so well in this. So my plan is to go through here and lift all of this into the beds. But this bed was not weeded because it had the um, Brussels sprouts in it. So I'm gonna go through quick. I did mulch it with some hay, but I'm gonna go through quick, dig up all these dandelions and then weed that bed. And then, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I really just wanna get all the weeds out of the pathways and then I might lift some of these over. So let's see what we can get done here. So, and then I just use my trowel and I lift them in that way. And it's beautiful to do this right now, like Brian's doing the tree wells because it's nice and loose. But like, this is, this is like four years of these wood chips composting, so. Yeah, they're that's nice stuff. I was listening to all the tree swallows out here. It's pretty awesome. What a day. It's so beautiful to be out here. I also have grass moving in along the borders that I have to deal with, and that's going to be a lot of work because that all has to get dug out before we put the wood chips down. I remember watching Charles Doubting a couple of years ago and how awesome he managed his composting. Um, and although I don't put that much work into it, I feel like I'm having the same situation here. So I have just gone through and pulled out all the grass, all of the dandelions or weeds. All that's left in this bed is the Brussels sprout stems, which they will degrade. So now what I'm gonna do is pull away that straw most as much as I can. And then I'm going to dig out this row uh, and put it back into there and then level that bed out and then put the straw back on until we're ready to plant. And then if I'm feeling it, I'm gonna tackle that bed. I'm not really sure quite yet what to do with the strawberries. I'm gonna call my friend who is a strawberry person and see what he says. But yeah, so let's... Let's do this here. Well, oh, I'm sweating. All right, we got that done. This is what my path looks like now. So it's dug pretty far down. Uh, and in some cases the bed is really high, but when we put wood chips in here, it'll bring it right back up. But what I wanted to show you about having, you know, like connecting pathways, here is one of the roots that I dug up growing into the wood chips, into the kind of the, the pathway. So, and there was multiple of these. I just left this one just to show you. So when, if you have garden beds where you have, you know, nicely mulched pathways, when the roots grow down into the bed and they don't have any barrier, they can then grow out into the, oh, look at that one, into the kind of um, other areas which allow them to grow nice and big and strong. So one of the other things I'm gonna really have to pay attention to and get done quickly is mulching this because if I leave this soil exposed, it's gonna be full of weeds. So. That's something that is a priority uh, right now. I think I'm gonna try and tackle um, the, the bed of strawberries, but might not film that or I might. Anyways, hope you're all having a great start to your gardening season. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. What are you doing in there, waitie? <laughs>